A mouse cursor in Storyline is an object that you can add to any slide to simulate a moving mouse effect. Like in the scene that we're going to watch right here, we'll watch a mouse cursor move across the screen to the right. It selects that little icon there and then it makes another couple of clicks to show some steps in a procedure. You can see how it adds a nice realistic feel to really any slide where you want to depict a mouse moving. And you can even include a clicking sound or a visual effect to the mouse cursor like I did if you want to. Now the mouse cursors that we just saw are actually something that Storyline can insert for you when you create a step-by-step -step screen recording in your project, but you can also add your own mouse cursors to any slide. And here's an example of that. On this slide, I've just got a screenshot that I've added to my slide and I've inserted my own mouse cursor that moves onto the slide to a particular part of the screen. And I've also added that little red rectangle there just to draw the learner's eye to that spot. So let's see how you can work with mouse cursors. I'm gonna go ahead and close the preview here. And if you want to insert a mouse cursor on one of your own slides, let me just go ahead and get rid of the one that I've added here so we can see how to insert one. What we wanna do is come up to the Insert tab and then choose Mouse. And then you can select from a whole bunch of different symbols here. And if you don't see one that you want, but you do have a cursor file on your hard drive that you wanna use, you can go down to the bottom here and choose Browse for Cursors, and then you can select the file you want to use. Anything with the CUR or ANI extension will work. We're going to go ahead and just go with one of the default styles here. And then once you choose a style, that's going to insert your mouse cursor on your slide. So here it is right here. And then you can customize it from there. And the customizations that you can make, those are going to work regardless of whether the mouse cursor is one that you inserted, like this one that we just added here, or if your mouse cursor was inserted automatically as part of a screen recording. Like if we switch over to our other scene, like this is part of my screen recording, and there's a mouse cursor that Storyline added for me, and I can customize that in the same way that I can customize this one that we just added. So let's keep working with this one right here. One of the things I would probably change right away is the place where this is located. Like I really want the mouse cursor to end up right here so that it's pointing to this part of the screen. So you can just click and drag to move it to a different spot if you need to. And then you can also change the path. When you select the mouse cursor on your slide, um, the path is going to be pretty obvious. It's this black line with the arrow. That's not going to show up in your published output. That's just there for you so you know the path that it's going to take. And if you want it to travel in from a different place, what you can do is come up to the Format tab and use this Enter From dropdown. And then you can select the location that you want it to come in from. So this will probably work better here, so that way it's not moving across my character. Um, just be aware, though, that if you have multiple slides with mouse cursors, this Enter From dropdown might be grayed out. And that's because the previous slide might have a mouse cursor whose end point is what determines the beginning point of the mouse cursor on this slide. So that's just the way mouse cursors work to make things look kind of consistent from slide to slide. You'll also notice on this mouse cursor that the path is kind of curvy, but if you'd rather have it straight, you can uh, come right up here and choose straight pointer path and that'll straighten that line right out. So what else can we do to customize a mouse cursor? Well, another thing you can do is swap to a different style. So up here in the Format tab, you'll see a bunch of different styles that you can switch to if you change your mind about the symbol that you chose in the beginning. Another thing you can do is get rid of the clicking sound if you don't want that. You can come up here and choose None, or you can even change it to a double click if you prefer that. And if you want that visual effect on the click, that little circle that appears, you can mark this box right here that says Show Click Effects, or you can unmark it if you don't. We can also change when the motion starts and ends on our mouse cursor. If we come down here to the timeline, you can select the mouse cursor on the timeline and then drag the beginning or ending point of it to any place on the timeline that you want. And this is actually going to control when the mouse's movement starts and stops. And that's kind of unique to mouse cursors. With other things that you insert in Storyline, dragging the borders like this, that's going to actually control when the object appears or disappears. But with mouse cursors, the cursor actually stays on screen for the whole duration of the slide. And then changing these borders here just controls when the motion starts and ends. And then one more thing that's kind of cool with the way you can format mouse cursors, up here on the Format tab, you can also reduce the cursor's speed by marking this box right here before the click effect happens. And that way the movement's going to look you know, just a little more natural on your slide and not real abrupt or choppy.